Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Fable 2. All right. Left off, we had just came back to Bowerstone Market, to our little home here. And, uh, just been running around with the kid at my heels. <laughs> kind of not following me now, but she was earlier. And, uh, yeah, just buying up some stuff. Apparently there was a couple properties that I hadn't bought yet. <laughs> Uh, in the nearby area, so I got those, and uh, yeah, bought a couple things, sold a couple things, you know, the typical market fair that I usually do. It's closing time well, I mean, there's no more houses shops. here for me to rent out, so there's that. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're closing for now. So, with all of that done, I think the next thing I should be doing is another quest nearby and uh hob squatter seems to be a good one there's also the blind date which is a thing i guess so there's that um yeah let's uh let's do hob squatters we're not gonna do the main quest right away there's other things we need to be doing and fixing and whatnot yeah Anywho, let's keep going. Drinking my coffee. Because boy, am I sleepy. <laughs> Need to wake the fuck up. Oh, Hop Squatters is in Oakfield. Alright. Well then. Uh. Where's it pointing? This way. Alright. Um. All shops are closed at night. Well, I expect the temple much. has prospered greatly during your absence. Yeah. Without your help, this place would be deserted and its people dead or scattered. Oh. Oh. Well, that's good. That's good that it helped. At least. Man, look at the place. Oh, well. Hi there. You seem to like me enough to give me a gift. Pure experience extract. I'll take it. It is now officially bedtime. Yeah, I know. But let's see how much experience I got from that. 316. Almost 317,000 experience in general. Holy shit. That's like almost an unnecessary amount of experience. Yeesh. Alright, let's see. Uh, wait, what? I can buy the Temple of Light. Isn't that blasphemy a little bit? <laughs> Isn't that a bit of blasphemy? Just a little bit? It's not even a shop. This is a unique building. Once you buy it, you will be not able to sell it. Ah, oh, okay. Sure. Oh. As the owner of the Temple of Light, you have earned the right to be called Chosen One. Have I earned it? Really? Have I earned that right? I don't think that's an earning sort of thing. <laughs> this title is now free from all town criers. All right. Fair enough. I guess. Well, hi there. Hey, you look like the sort of goes into caves, dungeons, and uh, whatnot when people ask them to. Uh, you can help me. Right. Yeah, it's my digs, you see. I, yeah, I live Your in this digs. cozy little cavern. Hardly any dampness at all. But I've been kicked out by a family of hobs. Have you now? Okay. Yeah, I came to the temple for shelter. But if you can kick those creatures out of my cave, well, I can go home. All right, that's fair. But at the same time, don't you have a weapon? Why can't you do it? Are you just not good enough at it? So you're not afraid of a few little hobs, surely? I mean, I'm not, but... Ha, ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, in you go, then. Alrighty, um... 
I'm not sure uh, what to think about that. Um, that seems like it might be an ambush of some kind. And uh, why would you want to live in a cave? I mean, if there's hardly any dampness at all, I guess it's a good idea. But it still begs the question, why? I don't know. I don't know. It all seems very suspect to me. Just slightly suspect. Especially since he already has a sword. Why would he be unable to deal with it with when he already has a weapon? I mean, it's not that hard with a weapon. Oh, fuck you. Alright. And there's that. That was beautiful. Alright. Let's keep going towards the cave then. This looks familiar. This whole trek looks familiar. Well, I mean, it's going to lead us into town, so I guess it should look familiar. What the? Is that new? No, that can't be new. That has to be... Yeah, that just has to be the effect of the water wheel. It can't be... No, I don't think so. I don't think it's new. I do not think it's new. I guess the cave is over this way. Wow, you just have to walk through town to get to it. Alright. Here we are. <laughs> the hell are you doing, guy? Sheesh. Alright, so... Here we are. On our way. Alright. Ah, this is it. And I think I've seen this before, too. When I think about it. I just keep shooting. Come on. Come on. Jesus. They're all over the damn place. Good God. No wonder you think it's infested. Okay. Knock him down. Take too much longer. Wow. That was quick. Just had to keep shooting, and I was good at that. Boy, was I good at that. Alright. And I think, yep, that's all of it. Cool. Now we head towards the cave. Oh, that's, that's quite a big-ass moon in the background. Look at that. Holy shit. That moon is gigantic. Oh, it's okay, Butcher. It's okay. You're okay. Yeesh. <laughs> that moon is way too big for it to be regular Earth moon. Ah, uh, it's the Echo Mine. That's where we're going, I guess. I assume, anyway. Oh. Wasn't really paying attention to the uh, little floating trail at that point. Alright. Here we are, I guess. Yep, it's in here. Good. I was right, at least. I'm sure you'll be a great success. Okay. Alright, well that was quick. Damn. Damn. That was fast. Almost too fast. That. There's ribs there. There was a book earlier. I kind of want to read that. If I can. Cave Diary, page one. Alright. This appears to be a page from a makeshift diary. The entry reads, I managed to escape that horrible place. The men with the strange masks wanted to sacrifice me. I don't think my family made it. I'll hide out in this cave until it's safe to leave. I can hear strange noises coming from further inside. Huh. Are those pages possibly from... Tommy? The guy who's making us do this? I don't know. It's hard to tell. Big spot. Got a, <laughs> got a key. And now we're possibly going to get some coins or something? What kind of treasure would be in here? Pretty necklace. That's close enough. That's essentially coins. Be able to sell that. 
Alrighty. Hello. Oh, okay. Why are you not hitting them? Jesus. Good lord. Come on now. Alright. Fuck you. You go flying. Buddy. Doggo. It's not the time to talk about dig spots. Yeesh. There we go. Hey! I can now afford speed. Nice. Alright. Let's deal with it. Yep. There we go. That's what I wanted. Good. What do we have? Huh? Obsidian Java Potion. Alright, I'll take it. Fine by me. Alright. Oh, I realize there's also a uh, thing I missed over here. Page 2. I thought at first they would eat me. That I escaped that awful temple in Rookridge only to die here. But they were more curious than anything. They even offered me some food. It looked like a man's leg. I'm not sure I'm that hungry yet. Well, um... You might not have a choice there, bub. What the hell's going on here? It's a skull in a bucket. Face sort of bucket. It's a mannequin leg. Abacus. Anvil. Some bags. Mannequin hands in clay pots. Some skulls affixed to... Okay. Mannequin torsos. That's a little morbid. Uh, inkwell. Quill. Quill that's... Oh, it has its own little spot in the inkwell. That's that's nice. A proper mannequin head, as opposed to all the fucking skulls around. Hmm. Oh, look at that. It's a little register. Oh, and page three. The writing on this entry is harder to read. Most of it is little more than a doodle. One passage is clear, though. We played a great game today. We had to hide in some bushes until a caravan went past, and then we knocked it over and clubbed everyone inside to a pulp. We're going to eat well tonight. Huh. Um. Right. That sounds like whoever is writing this was uh, joining in on the Hobbes stuff, including cannibalism, at least on their part. Okay, I'm getting a little more creeped out, because Tommy is really the only suspect in this. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Oops, okay. There we go. That worked out beautifully. Oh, he's not dead. Okay, that, now he's dead. <laughs> Alright. Where's the dig spot, doggo? Where is it? Over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. That's one of the monks. That was recent. Because the rest of these are s s skeletons. But this guy was recently killed. Fake flowers. Well, that was worthless. Jeez. Page four. There are only a few sentences on this piece of paper, which looks like it was once an old woman's shopping list. Don't think I should write as much anymore. My tribe looks at me funny and makes growling noises whenever they see me using this sharpened bone dipped in chicken blood. Who needs language anyway? Denture paste, baking apples, anti-wrinkling potion, mustache bleach. Alrighty, well. Um, who needs language anyway? Um... Everyone who hopes to communicate with the outside world? That kind of is useful. Whoa. 
You were not on the itinerary. I thought you were not part of this. Okay, well, you, you are actually surviving far sight better than the rest of your colleagues. There we go. There we go. Now we got toughness. But yeah. Well, it's not worth it quite yet. Huh. There we are. There's one last page here. Page five. The writing on this page is barely legible and consists mostly of crude drawings. You can only make out the last part. I found a lovely, lovely corset on our last raid. Bit tight, but it goes great with the skirt I stole off that clothesline last week. My outfit's really coming together now. I feel just like another hob. Hee <laughs> hee. No more writing for me from now on. This human stuff is beneath me. Tommy was wearing a corset and skirt. And a big bleached wig. Son of a bitch. that was the case, why is he having us kill his... He said tribe earlier. Why is he having us kill his tribe then? Why kill the Hobbs that were once considered his family? That's... That's the only part that confuses me. If he was joining in on their fun, barbaric as it is, why would he want me to then kill them? You were meant to get in, but you killed them. Oh. Murderer. Uh, okay. A key for the entrance to Tommy's cavern. Um, that wasn't even really a fight. Well then, that explained it. <laughs> we weren't supposed to get, we weren't supposed to get successful in this endeavor. We were supposed to die. Of course, he didn't realize I'm badass. And, uh, big strong. And they dead now. As is he. I'm sorry, Tommy. I'm sorry I killed your family. And then you. To be fair, you guys were committing some atrocities. It kind of had to be done. One of those atrocities being that outfit. Ugh. <laughs> that skirt with that top. Ugh. No. No. No, no, no. And that wig. Ugh. No. No. No, 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 no. Not that I know much about fashion, but that, that it looked like a hodgepodge mishmash anyway. But I mean, well, I guess the wig kind of does it with that feather there. I didn't notice that feather the first time. But still, uh, it's just, eh. What the hell are those ghost people doing over here? What? the hell? Oh! They're the farmers. Go on, that's good one. Alright. Met yes, any nice lady. lady dogs lately? They're the farmers and people in Oakfield. Alright. Alrighty then. Weird that you all were just sitting there, but alright. Oh, doggo. Doggo. Let me... Give you a treat. There you go, doggo. To farm the land. Good away from boy. all the stresses of Good modern doggo. life. Good doggo. Alright, well. Quick, all the 
Yeah. <laughs> that was a thing. That entire quest was just odd. I'm not sure how to respond to that. But I mean... Now that I noticed the feather, it did actually help bring the outfit together. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't notice that before. I don't know. I was, I was probably just baffled by the... You know... Half cantaloupe boobs. <laughs> I think that might have thrown me off a little bit. I assume they were cantaloupes anyway. Anywho, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Because this got... Somewhere. <laughs> I did a thing. There's that. Uh, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. We can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only... Bleh. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Killing Hobbs and weird cannibal person who joined their tribe because that was a thing, I guess, for you. Entire quest line was weird. Just that, the whole thing. The whole thing. It was set up as a way to trap adventurers and get them killed and eaten. But they should have expected that they would have lost some people in the process and lost some hops in the process. And I just, I don't know. I don't know. The whole thing seemed suspect from the beginning. And turns out it was. <laughs> and I'm not sure how to feel about that, that I predicted that before I did it.